Hello everyone, welcome back to Be Love Revolution's virtual fundraising campaign, Give to Be Love. My name is Emily Stevenson and I'm the social media manager for Be Love Revolution. I'm super excited that you're here with us today as we reach toward our goal of $30,000 in 10 days. Today we'll be hearing from Beth Davis from Blessed Is She. I had the joy of getting to know Beth a little bit better this past month when Blessed Is She traveled to Michigan for a Restore You Bible worship night. We'll also be hearing from Sarah Falvey. Sarah Falvey is an Air Force officer and I grew up with her and I've known her for my whole life. And it's really awesome to hear Sarah's story and watch her share it with so many young women so that they can encounter the love of Christ. So continue watching and I'm super excited for you to hear what they have to say. Hi friends, I'm Beth Davis and I'm the Director of Ministry Advancement for Blessed Is She. But I'm here today to talk to you about Be Love Revolution and my heart and my experience with Be Love Revolution. Uh, I've known Debbie Herbeck for a couple of years, and if you know Debbie, you know Be Love Revolution. This ministry to young women is such an extension of her heart, of her life, of her family, and I got to experience that firsthand just a little over a month ago when I was in Ann Arbor hosting a revival night for Blessed Is She. It started by um, coming in off a very long road trip and driving up to a beloved night hosted by BLR. And I walked in to the sound of probably more than a hundred girls, young women singing and praising the Lord um, to hear their faith, to see their desire uh, in worship, to know the Lord, to uh, praise him, to be close to him was really moving. And I'm a former youth minister, so to see that kind of um, love and faith expressed in so many young women was really inspiring. And not only that, but when we hosted our revival night, the Be Love Revolution team helped us. In fact, we could not have done this night without the Be Love Revolution team. And to spend time with these young women who had all themselves gone through the program and received this uh, beautiful ministry from Debbie, from her team, from these incredible women, uh, was really expressed in the way that they generously, joyfully, served. They were my favorite volunteer team by far. Um, and they gave and gave and gave at the beginning of the night, during the night, at the end of the night, and yet somehow were always turned in their hearts to the Lord. It was an incredible witness and fruit of the ministry that Be Love Revolution does. So I can't encourage you enough to support the work of Be Love Revolution. It's um, so pleasing to the heart of God. I could feel that praying with these girls. I could see it by the way that they reached out. In fact, I, I remember um, meeting a young woman who was walking up to our event who didn't know anyone, who was actually in the process of converting. And one of the Be Love Revolution women uh, came up to her, approached her, exchanged numbers, and invited her into community. Uh, these women are living a life on mission for love of Jesus, and they need your help. They need your prayers, and could I ask you to be generous and to donate, to give financially to this work? God bless you, friends, and God bless Be Love Revolution. Hey, beloved. My name is Sarah Falvey, and I'm so excited to be a part of Be Love Revolution's virtual fundraising campaign. Before we get started, I did want to tell you a little bit about myself. I was raised in Michigan, Plymouth, Michigan. I went to Catholic grade school there and high school there. I come from a family of nine kids. Five of them are adopted. Um, just really grew up with an amazing family. From there, I went to college. I went to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. From there, I went to grad school at the University of Michigan. And now I'm currently stationed in Dayton, Ohio, where I work at a top secret intel facility as a personnel officer in the Air Force. So I, that's a little bit about me. I can't tell you my full testimony because that would be too long, but if I had to uh, condense my testimony down, it would go something like this. God saw me in the most trying and the darkest and most sinful and shameful moments of my life, and God rescued me from that darkness, sin and shame. I began down a path um, in college that I wasn't super proud of, and eventually I found myself pregnant. Uh, before marriage, I pre found myself pregnant. And from there, I found myself basically uh, what I thought was backed into a corner. I thought I was going to have an abortion. I genuinely thought I had no other choice, no other option. 
God intervened on my way to an abortion clinic to receive an abortion um, in a way that was nothing short of miraculous. From there, I gave birth to my daughter, and now I currently have a really sassy, spunky, soulful, almost three-year-old. Um, so yeah, that's that's my testimony, and that brings me to um, my connection with BLR. I was actually blessed to have given my testimony at a beloved event a couple years ago, shortly after having my daughter. Um, I've also gotten to attend my fair share of beloved events, and they impact me Every single time I go, I'm all, I also have a really lucky and cool opportunity to know a lot of the BLR leaders. Um, and I grew up with them, went to school with them, and it's been amazing them watching them grow and mold into these God-fearing women who are such mentors to the BLR ladies. So that brings me to how, does, how did BLR impact my life? How has it impacted my life? Well, I believe sharing my testimony at BLR impacted me more than it did the girls. It was the first time in my life where I finally understood and felt forgiven. I knew forgiveness was real. I knew Christ had forgiven me. I knew he died on the cross for my sins. I knew all those things. But that was the first time in my life where I really understood that I didn't have to spend my whole life clawing myself out of this hole and trying to obtain heaven, trying to obtain holiness. It's the first time in my life where I understood what God had done in my life and my plan and purpose. I started to realize, you know, we hear the story of the paralyzed man where God says to him, after he heals him, he says, pick up your mat and go. And what that does is um, it doesn't just show people the miraculous healing of him. It shows where he came from. His mat shows that he was crippled at one point. He was tied to that mat. That's what he relied on to, for his life. And to me, sharing my testimony finally helped me understand that it is by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony that we're gonna bring others to Christ. I have this really beautiful outward manifestation of what God did in an inward transformation and that is my daughter. And so Christ used that time of me sharing my testimony for me to say, pick up your mat and go. Share this with other people. Don't be ashamed of this. Um, and so that was one of the really strong, beautiful ways that BLR has impacted my life. Now, why do I think beloved is so important? I simply put, BLR is so important because the devil is on the prowl. Bluntly put, the Bible tells us that the devil is on the prowl, that he doesn't just merely exist, that he is on the prowl daily for the hearts, minds, and souls of the young ladies in this community, in the world. Um, it's your daughters, it's your sisters, it's your community, your friends, your cousins. He is actively in pursuit of these ladies' hearts through culture, through media, through sin, through distraction, all these different things. And what BLR is doing is actively combating that. They're saying no more. They're investing into this, this generation of young ladies. And that's why I support them. That's why I support them because I know that these messages are going to be fed to these, this young generation from somewhere. They're either going to eat the food from culture or they're going to eat God's word from the Bible. And that's what Beloved does is it feeds these real life topics of relationships, sex, um, identity, self-image, truthfulness, um, faithfulness, all those topics that are discussed. They're either going to be fed from culture or from God. And Beloved is the ones who are getting behind these young ladies at a very transformative period of their life and teaching them about these truths. And that's why I choose to support Beloved. I choose to support them financially, spiritually, and also with my support because I know how crucial that this community is. Beloved is an anomaly. You have an army of mentors, an army of women who are molding your daughters, molding the young women of this community. And I believe it has worldwide reaching impact. I believe that the Ann Arbor area and surrounding areas have been blessed with the beloved community, the BLR community, but I believe this has worldwide impact. Different chapters are popping up all over the country of beloved. And I think that this is a ministry that I can guarantee you is what this generation is wanting. Everyone has given up on this generation. It says this, the end times, um, this is just a sinful generation, but I can tell you that I support BLR because I believe in them and I have hope that these are our future. These are the women that are gonna rise up against the devil and say no more. We are going to defeat you. And I think that it is so crucial what these women do and how they lead and mold them because it's very, very easy. It's very easy to say, it's not my daughter, it's not my community. That's not happening at my high school. 
but I can tell you, and very bluntly again, I can tell you that it is. It might not be happening onto the level of the egregiousness that I was dealing with, but I can tell you that some of these issues and some of these ways the devil has crafted and gotten into the, in the, into the culture is happening to these ladies to some varying degree. And it's so important to surround yourself with a group of God-fearing young women that, that will help lead you in stride in the right direction toward heaven. And so I thank you for the support that you've been already. I thank you for the continued prayers. If you would just continue to pray for us and continue to support the mission and to teach these young ladies how to be love, how to be free, how to be his so that they can ultimately be the daughters of Christ that they're called to be. All right, thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, we really need your help and your generosity. So to donate, you can go to belovrevolution.com forward slash give to be love. We ask that you share these videos with those you know that also might be inspired to donate to BLR. But we especially ask that you keep us in prayer so that we can continue on in what God has called us to do.